All right, howdy boyos, and welcome back to Rising Storm 2 Vietnam. A uh, couple of patches have been uh, applied to the game, a couple of updates, and right now I am playing on a custom map that someone created for Rising Storm 2, and it's based on the Cambodian incursion map in uh, Battlefield Vietnam, which is a very, very old game, but I did play the shit out of that. Now, it's very loosely based, and expect bugs, glitches, and everything to happen. Uh, it's, you know, the map is in beta, it says it in the top left. Uh, so, you know, don't expect everything to work amazingly. Now, personally, I already was playing on this map uh, last round as the Americans. It was pretty enjoyable. I uh, got, like, 30 kills uh, last round. Now I decided to switch over to the Vietnamese, uh, you know, because we won the round as the Americans. Switch over to the Vietnamese and see if I can defend as good as I can attack on this map. So I actually am trying out the shotgun with both slugs and buckshot. And on this map, I already kind of discovered how amazing a shotgun can be. I was messing around with the shotgun earlier on the American side. And I can imagine playing it with the, with it as a defender is only going to make it even better. Now, I should not go too far. I have to yeah, make sure we defend. Bravo, obviously. So, there's a couple of loadouts for the shotgun. Uh, at least there's a couple of shotgun variants. But I'll, I'll go into one of those. Or I'll, I'll, I'll go into that when I die. Uh, right now, I need to make sure I'm actually going to stay in or around B. Wow. Fucking domed. That's number one. So we started at 30. So now we can use the uh, our kills minus 30 will be here. Fuck! I saw him. So 30 minus our uh, our what kills minus 30 will be our kills in this round. Oh, my squat leader did not put down a squat tunnel. That sucks a little bit. Anyway, we can go over uh, the gun. So we have three shotguns: a hunting shotgun, the coach gun, or the sawn off. And they're all basically the same gun, but obviously the sawn off has a way shorter barrel and has a uh, has no stock. The coach gun is just a shorter barrel. Um, all of them come with the ability, let me just get out of the cover here for a second. All of them come with the ability to load slugs, or sorry, uh, buckshot, or slugs, or a combination, uh, besides the sawn off which only comes with buckshot pure. Now I really like having uh, buckshot and um, slugs, slugs for when I'm, you know, going to Engage people at longer range because they're fucking amazing in this gun. And then obviously, fuck, I need to pay more attention. And then obviously the buckshot for if I come up close, you know, going inside a compound or expecting a lot of people in the same location. And I want to make sure that my shots don't have to be directly on top of target, but I can kind of willy nilly them around them and hopefully some of the slugs will, or the buckshot will kill them. Um, I have to say though, I'm a giant fan of the buckshot. It's at. That's, that's broken. It's, uh... Okay, that's awkward. I just totally jumped Scout. through this rock and killed two Americans. Um, the, the buckshot, or the buckshot isn't as good as the slugs, in my opinion. Um, I just like the slugs because they do a shit ton of damage. And at close range, or even at close range, slugs are pretty fucking good in this game. But let's switch to the slugs again. Because I'm expecting contact to come a little bit more at a farther range over here. There's an American like right here. We are Hello. Ah! What? I hit him twice. Oh, okay. So the only downside of playing the um, Vietnamese shotguns is that you don't have any bayonets, and I'm pretty sure there is at least one American shotgun that does have a bayonet on it. So, um, you know, you only get two shots with these shotguns. You only get two shots, and you gotta go for a reload. Whereas the Americans have at least one shotgun that has five rounds, which obviously is a big benefit if you're going up against you know more people you want to have more shots before you got to go for a reload um but you know like i said that's personal preference i really have to say i love where's this going okay, not on me this this shotgun is absolutely amazing especially with the slugs in it it is an absolute killing machine let's go for a slug reload so you can switch between slugs and buckshot by pressing the control key at least uh, that's default for me Looking for some Americans to kill over here. So this game, or this map, plays way, 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 way quicker than the uh, other maps in Vietnam so far. This plays like, almost like literally Battlefield Vietnam. It plays very, very quick. You gotta be quick on your trigger, accurate, and hope that you don't fucking... 
Okay, I'm just getting flamed forward right now. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna get up to 38. I'm gonna get up to eight kills. Um, I mean, honestly, if I get two kills with the shotgun every life and I die, I'm happy because I got two rounds before I got to reload. Honestly, the reload takes a while. You gotta, you know, click open the barrel, put one shell in, put the other shell in, click it back up, and it does. I'm not complaining because I get it. Otherwise, this gun would be horribly overpowered. But the reload does take a while. As you can see. Boom, reloaded. It, it takes a while, especially in a combat situation. Also, I'm trying to fucking up the hill right now, but this is oh, um, awkward. This is, like I said, it is a map that's in beta. It's, you know, made by someone. Uh, so Scout. it's going to be very glitchy and buggy at some points. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I almost shot you, you fucking dickhead. Hellfire oh, okay. That was the slugs with buckshot. I would have killed that guy. But I had slugs, and I totally didn't expect him to be so ag agile, agile, uh, agile in his uh, in his movement. So I totally did screw up with that shot. But there's no point. We can just go back. We got our eight kills. I really want to go back to that hill on top of B. Uh, although the real battle, the real real battle, doesn't start until we get past C. The D and E are absolute fucking bitches to attack. And I definitely noticed that as an American earlier. Come on, you fuck. As an American, it's- Oh, that was an American! I thought it was fucking- He was naked! Oh, you fuck. Damn it. Uh, as an American, it's really hard to attack D and E, because you can attack A and B at the same time, then C, and D and E are going to be objectives that you can have to attack at the same time again, so you need to have both D and E at the same time to be able to win. Um, and it does end up being- pretty hard. Now, they've captured A and B. I really am sucking. I only got eight kills, and I probably died a couple more times there. Um, but I really, I really want to get my fucking... Uh, I really want to get more shotgun kills. And did I just reload slugs? I think I did. Let's go sit somewhere not in C, because there's just too much to... This, this is way too big. Let's go sit to the south. Oh, we have to jump around this. Let's go sit around over here somewhere. Oh, we can't go out here. This is an exit for me. Yes, it is. Let's go wait for the Americans to cross the rivers back there. A bit of a delayed... Wow. A bit of a delayed jump, and then it just forced me back. As you can see, the map is still pretty much in beta. There's lots of stuff that needs to be fixed, needs to be worked on. But I do really like the quick, kind of run-and-gun gameplay that you can get in this map. As you can see, it's very quick. I'm not saying it's necessarily a way to do the map good or bad, but I love... Ooh, what's bad? I love running and gunning, so obviously I'm going to try and, you know, Return run and gun as much as possible. Area. And this map does allow for it, so. Where is a crossing where I can shoot some Americans? That's a thumper. There's an American in that river right there. Got to our left somewhere as well. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. I don't want to be here. <gasps> YouTube is going to really hate compressing all this into a video because of all the fucking foliage everywhere. I won. I should have really had buckshot there, but I still won. Oh, and I died. I got shot from 12 meters. I um, probably should stick with buckshot until I know we're, we're past C. Because the slugs really do get amazing at this bridge location. You're going to have a field day with slugs. But for now, we just have to kind of defend C. So I should probably stop fucking around and just go in and... Uh, sit over there and hold it. We still got our nine kills. I like that. That's really like there's some there's some really cool stuff in this map. Oh, artillery! Run for cover! Oh, it's friendly artillery. Okay. For people wondering, by the way, I turned off consistent team colors so all the Vietnamese are always going to be red whether or not I'm Vietnamese or American it'll be American to always be blue whether or not I'm Vietnamese or American so oh I got really lucky there buck probably slugs would have gotten me killed there so I stuck to buckshot for now get up on this rock this is a very nice place to mess around with the Americans over here might want to switch to uh, slugs though Aw, oh, you fuck! Damn it! Flamethrowers, man! Ugh, they're a thing. They're definitely a thing. 
Flamethrowers are a bitch. And I'm not arguing that I'm not a bitch with my shotgun, but flamethrowers are always really hard to deal with. They've always been really hard to deal with ever since Riding Storm 1. Um, I think in... I remember seeing the trailer for uh, Call of Duty World at War and they showed like the flamethrower and I was like, man, that's gonna, that's gotta be overpowered. And it turned out to be a gimmick. Like, I wouldn't necessarily say the flamethrower was bad in multiplayer, but I really wouldn't classify that as a really great weapon. Oh God, what's happened to me? I'm alive? Oh. I really wouldn't classify that as a good weapon either. So, in Rising Storm 1 with the flamethrower, <laughs> that, oh God damn it. Definitely does not like being on a hill here. Hey, I'm dead. Charlie is being attacked. Are these slugs? They better be. I I don't think I can leave this place, can I? Oh, I can. I can't leave. I couldn't leave. Fuck. Okay, so a bit glitchy, but like I said, it's a beta map and it's a custom map, and I'm just glad to be honestly playing something different from um, the, you know the vanilla maps already in the game. Anyway, so in one and one and what war you had the flamethrower, which I thought was going to be super OP, but it turned out to be quite a bad gimmick. It turned was like. You had to flame someone for a good second and a half before they would actually die. Okay, don't go down there. That's bad. Uh, then there was, you know, Rising Storm 1, which had the pretty damn good flamethrower. And now, in Rising Storm 2, there's a flamethrower, which I would argue is very fucking good still. Oh, I almost fucking hit fire at this bitch. Uh, but, yeah, I... I oh, fuck, the guy got RPG'd. I wish that... Um, Call of Duty would bring back the flame. Oh, there's two guys right there. That's a fucking reload. Got one of them. Rolling buckshot again. Gonna do less sprinting. I wanna. No! Oh, God, I thought I was gonna be all the way down here again. Fuck. This hill is a bitch, man. I switched to my pistol because I wanted to kind of shoot that guy because I only hit one of them. Now with a, 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 the other shotgun, I probably could have done more damage because I could, have, I could have killed the other guy too, but this is okay. I want to do some more flanky and spanky stuff though. Listening for where the Americans are going to be. I don't want to jump over this. I want to attack them in the rear with a shotgun and a pistol. Let's see how to find these. Oh, I almost shot that guy. Oh my god. I, I am I'm actually taking like almost half a second in my brain every time I see someone. No! Why? I I my I, did I not have a did I not reload? Did I only have one uh, slug? Maybe did I hit I hit like tick. Fuck. I only had one buckshot, sorry. Like, what the fuck, man? What happened there? I totally had, I totally reloaded. Anyway, uh, let's go back. That was fucking insane, though. Holy shit. Also, I'm pretty sure their flamethrower is using it. Their flame, their, their commander is using a flamethrower as his main weapon. Uh, I don't want to tell this guy that he's doing a bad job because I don't like, like, yelling at the enemy commander because it's kind of like a stupid time. thing to do. But if your commander is using a flamethrower, that means he doesn't really care about being a commander. He just wants to get the kills because he's being a commander to get the artillery. But the commanders could shoot, some, kind of sit back. I'm not saying, you know, don't do anything, but I think a commander that's a flamethrower isn't the best idea. A commander should kind of sit back, you know, defend himself when he needs to, get a kill here and there, but definitely don't actively go around and try and kill people with a flamethrower. This is a fucking American summer over here. I'm still really fucking scared. This map is awesome. I love this map. I definitely want to be playing more of this. Take cover. It's really big. It's got these awesome flanks. This awesome little hill formation over here. Okay, don't. Don't pull down. Please. I almost shut your fucking face off. 
I really want them to capture C. That's bad. No! Oh, it's Cream and Scream. So there's two different guys that basically have the same name, but one of them just fucking called Cream. I guess I take back what I said. His I, I recall being flamethrowered by a guy called Cream, or maybe I just really didn't pay attention and I just wanted to read the word Cream, whereas I was reading the word Scream and I'm just stupid. Does he got a leg right like, next to the fucking bridge? Are you kidding? Did you get him? I just hope he killed him. I fucking dickhead. Well, I really hope they capture C. Be nice to get some more. Be nice to get some action in at uh, D and E. Oh, yeah. I really want them to have C. That's <laughs> well, a big sacrifice for a lot of people to make, but it'd be funny if we to let them have C and then we wreck them at D and E. RPG. That was uh, RPG hitting me ish. I don't know if I have slug loader or not. I think I have. Let's go back to buckshot. God damn it! Don't make me fall down here again. Charlie is oh, they're attacking it. I should probably not be here and be killing. Out. America's Hold attacking the temple. Me. There's only like four of them in the temple anyway right now. Friendlings, that is. I really, kill, I really wish they capture C. Come on, capture C, capture C. I don't want to kill you right now. I'm just going to wait. Should I do this? I could kill them easily right now. There's so many of them here. I could kill so many people. I'm just going to wait. Have a lost Charlie. Nice. Oh! I'm I totally lost my brain. I was so scared when that guy came up to me, and I really thought he thought I, I really thought he knew that I knew that I knew that he knew that we all knew that he was not going to like let me live. And I fucked up. Wow. Oh well. No one saw that besides all of you guys, so that's fine. And at least we lost C, which I'm a dickhead for probably giving my enemies the objective, but I really wanted to fucking fight over... Oh, this is the wrong way. Is this the right way? I think so. I really wanted to run over here and... Where the fuck are we going? Is this like an exit? Oh, we're coming out of D. Nice. But I don't want to be here. I want to be between D and E-ish. Let's put some slugs in. Let's reload. That one slug. Let's watch for Americans. Because they, they can capture D and E. So I'm gonna try and sit in between the objectives and try and like snipe. Ecos are being attacked. Got him. This guy's retarded. Sir? 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 Did you not see me? We don't see him anymore, but still. They're capping E. It's okay. This bridge is where I came over as the Americans a couple times. It's really hard to see people sitting up here, so... I have slugs loaded, I'm pretty sure. I'll just sit around here for a little while. Yeah, that was a horrible fail, by the way, though. Me, like, not killing anyone. Kind of letting them capture the objective, but I just wanted to get some more kills. I 
Okay, I suck at slugs. There we go. Really? Boys, really? Get fucking slugged on, bitch. Just gotta talk to me, I don't know. Someone just got killed by a fucking uh, pickaxe. I'm a bit of an asshole sitting here. But isn't that being fun, being an asshole? I just I just got that triple kill on the bridge where well, I mean I wasn't really a triple kill, but I'd like to think that I'd like to think that they were kind of connected. Because it was like shot, shot, kill, reload. Reload. Shot. Kill. Shot. Kill. So, I don't know. Wasn't that bad. This guy's going fucking ham with his, uh, his gun. Let's uh, jump back in. Make sure we have our stuff loaded. Make our way over yonder. Let's stick with the... Oh. No! Fuck! I saw him! I was like, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. He's gonna come towards me. I'm gonna fucking shotgun him. And then he pull out his motherfucking... Oh, God. I'm not blaming him for using flamethrowers in this terrain. Like, it's probably the only thing that's saving them from getting absolutely horribly wrecked, but... All right. Let's run up here. Why not? I don't even know what's up here. This is, like, another tunnel. Someone made all this. That's the, that's the insanest part. Like, someone ma made all of this. Like, that's just fucking ridiculous to me. Oh, nice glitch. Oh, it's not fun being here. I don't want to be here anymore. I want to leave. I want to go over there. Oh, this is awesome. This is like some fucking rock running, man. Still making get up here. This is a bit glitchy. There we go. Finish to get up here though. What a dickhead, man. That's such a spawn campy place. Let's go in the jungle and look for some Americans. Where are you? No, 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 no. Delta is being attacked. I don't really care too much about the. Sure, we'll be fine. Delta is being attacked. Americans, let's switch to slugs because that's a pretty long range shot. There's a lot of them. Holy shit! Delta is being attacked. Fuck! Oh, how did he? See me? Fuck, man. Uh, so lucky. I need to go back there again. And I'm not gonna spawn at one, because that's how you get fucking wrecked. I need to spawn at two and get up that fucking uh, staircase again. The ladder, not the staircase, the ladder one. This one. Luckily, you can run crouch in this game. We have a lost delta. That's fine. Just give me the fucking help. Oh, you bitch! There's a guy above. That's that's pretty fucking bitchy. Like, that's that's a thing that I don't necessarily condone. Is the spawn killing? There's only three ways out of that objective. Two tunnels that lead up to D. And that one tunnel, which you can just stand on top of and just shoot people coming out of the tunnel the entire fucking time. Which is a bit of a mean thing to do. Not necessarily condone people doing that, but hey, what do you do? It's war. It's not fair. Also, I wish I could We're get up here. Delta. Plant thrower. I was gonna say, I need to kill this guy before I fucking die. I only had one more shot. It wasn't slugs, it was buckshot, so I had a good chance of killing. What the fuck?
Oh, that's totally got team killed by friendly. He did not ex expect me being there, I'm, ass I'm assuming. We have a chicken delta. All right, well, let's go run back there. If he's not going to say sorry, I'm not... Oh, okay, I was going to say me. Mate. Mate. Well, we almost got 25 kills with the shotgun, which is actually new because I did not think the slugs were this good. But those things are fucking meme lords as they are. Like, holy shit. Let's go back up there and be memes. I got him. Let's get right close. Ooh, close, 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 close. Let's switch out these shells to buckshot because I'm getting really close right now and I don't want them to... I don't want to keep fucking... It's friendly. Don't shoot me fucking for the love of God. I almost shot that guy looking at me. It's hard sometimes not to shoot friendlies. I'm, uh, I'm like a Vietnamese river patrol right now. That would be a meme. Higher risk, high reward. No! <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. There was a guy in the water, apparently. But I really wanted to put, a like, a tripwire down and just watch a guy walk through it or try and dismantle it before... I was going to, uh, like, shoot the next person or shoot him as he was trying to dismantle them. That would've actually been really funny, but... I guess I should do that uh, if I ever play this map again. Which I intend to, because this map is really nice, like, nicely made. It's actually pretty cool. If, uh, if we do play this map again, I will, uh, try and go there before and, like, put a, um... Put a, what you call it, down. Uh, like a tripwire and then watch it and hopefully the people will run through it. That'd be pretty or even put some mines down with the toe poppers That'd be pretty good, too. I guess uh, Let's run around yeah! It's almost over four tickets left on the uh, Americans Is there a guy in his house or something? Are you kidding? Ah! Enemy has no reinforcements. Switch to the McShout gun. Let's fucking charge that position. Let's do it. Let's go all the way around. That's some heavy artillery, holy shit. What? Okay, granted I wasn't on point with the aim, but I'm using a shotgun from two feet away. That should have potentially killed him. Let's jump in x-ray. Oh, we're out of reinforcements too. Oh well. I guess, uh... We have a lost delta. Let's see. I guess we're gonna have to just spectate now. So let's take a look at this map. Let's zoom out. So, um, while they're all doing their things, let's take a look. So, this is a Battlefield Vietnam map, and I actually remember this map, because this is one of my favorite maps to play on. Um, I actually played a shit ton against AI, because I was a big, like, a noob back then, but this is... I'm trying to find... So, this is the... That's so loud. Oh, okay, that's just because your artillery is landing right there. So, that is the original Vietnamese spawn, uh, as the attackers. In this map, the Vietnamese are apparently defending, but in the original map... The Vietnamese would spawn here, they would have this log bridge they would run over into the first objective, and I remember that hill being there because I would always sit right on this hill with the M60, and I would shoot over, I would sit like right here and shoot at that bridge like a dickhead. Then I recall, uh, I recall this village being here, I'm sorry this is the village, uh, I don't recall, recall, recall those hills, and then somewhere over here, would be the the like wooden logs that you could shoot through uh, like off and they would like fall on top of the enemy it would instantly kill everything from tanks to infantry uh, it would just blow them up then you had like then you indeed you had a little building over here which in this case is defense zone d you had a little building here 
Um, and then you had another bridge, which is modeled again. It must be this one then. It's not 100% the same. What the fuck? That's weird. What's that there? What's this here? Anyway, um, then this bridge, and then you had a little path. And you would come up to you had a couple of flanking ways. One of them was definitely on the left side here, which they ha which he has put in. Uh, there was another bridge here. Then you would uh, end up at the large like I don't know what you want to call this uh, like a Buddhist temple or a, a temple in general. And then there was one more very long bridge, which I guess resembles this part uh, or this part re resembles that. The very long like hanging bridge all the way it was very very long probably longer than this actual bridge but it's really cool that he made that and this will be the american spawn and then like uh, watching it this this zone and the first zone and especially the temple all look pretty damn accurate and i'm actually it's really awesome that he managed to make this and honestly what i would do is i would spawn um as i would spawn ai on the enemy team and I would just have an M60 and just shoot over the bridge the entire time. It was one of my favorite things to do. Anyway, for now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I showed you, um, you know, a new custom map. And I'm really, really excited for more custom maps, more custom stuff like the World War One, Scout. World War One Alfmarsh mod, the World War Two. Here's the West mod. Whole overhauls of maybe RO2 and Rising Storm 1 to come to this game. I'm glad you guys hopefully enjoyed the video. And I would love to see you in the next one. Cheers.